Hello everyone! In the last episode, we made it to Cosmo Canyon. We got to meet Bugenhagen. He seems, to me, a little bit different from the Bugenhagen that I remember from the original Final Fantasy VII. But then again, my memory of the original Final Fantasy VII is very limited. Certain things stuck with me, and some things probably didn't quite as much. Uh, what do you guys think about Bugenhagen in this as opposed to how he was in the original? Anyways, today our little Nanaki here has to go do a trial, so let's do that and see what that will bring. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the comments and enjoy the episode today. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Okay. Oh, I would hate this. Put me on the spot like that. I, oh no. Uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm comforting place but there was also conflict a war between the planet and its enemies and I can't I mean we can't let them win we need the planet and it needs us we have to rise up fight back defend it from this terrible threat thing is I don't know how to do any of that and I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Awkward claps. <laughs> Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us. So let us head to the torch. Uh, now we go to the bonfire. Let's go. The river of lights. What is it going to be like? I'll see you at the festival. Ah, oh, man. Vibes are kind of weird. Vibes are kind of weird ever since we started talking to Bugenhagen. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Can I? Ah, the river of lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. Hmm. Ah, the river of light. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil. The souls that have drifted return, to our veil and return them to the to planet. Join us in this ceremony. Do they believe that all souls there is no on the planet the will come here? Like Everybody? Who among you has looked inward into the universe? Guess we'll find sun. out. Let's see if I can figure out how to get where I'm trying to go. This place is really kind of confusing to get around. I think we need to take this 
elevator. Recommend making a save. Wow, look at the stars. We gotta talk to our people okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to everybody and then we're gonna go back <laughs> and not talk to them because <laughs> um we gotta date Aerith, you know if this is one of those where we increase their relationship which it looks like it Planned. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Whoa, that's dark. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. As such. The light with which she has blessed us is a gift that must one She is not a believer. Time. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Red. Just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. And so I, I don't... I'm not looking forward to that, uh, that part of the game where we get to about his dad. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Um, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Not nothing. That's for damn sure. At the same time, though, I don't know if fighting's the answer anymore. Maybe it's time for some good old-fashioned introspection. Well, this is the place to do it, I'd say. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I understand I you. I kinda wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Good talk. Good talk, Cloud. <laughs> Good wow, talk. So many tourists. Must be quite the Okay, oh, there's Chadley. Festival. Can we see Chadley? No, not yet. Okay, maybe later. I pray the All right, I'm going to load up and then we'll talk to Aerith. Yes. We're gonna make this date happen. I hope. I hope, I hope. 
Rip team bonding. Well, you know. Who needs it anyways? We can talk to Yuffie though, because she's green. I want to see a different dialogue option though. Put your faith in our breed. When you die, you return to the planet? That I didn't talk to Kate Sith either. That to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. We must live in the heart. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Mm hmm Look at that. I wish I could look up in the sky and see stars like that. The river of lights, huh? Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. It's one of my favorite things ever, but... Shit, I can't see it from where I live. It is not a bomb to the planet that ensures the cycle continues. It is for our Do I have to talk to everybody to uh progress? We render up our bodies and our souls. Okay. Well let's try to piss everybody off. She would never forsake us. Never abandon us. You have to talk to three people. Oh. What do I have? Ever keeping calamity at bay. Okay. If people everywhere resolve to not take her back. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Hmm. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn something. None of those <laughs> seem like bad options. Oh, I've learned something, all right. That these planetologists would rather study the world than live in it. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You sucked! Just gotta laugh it off. It's that simple. Except it's not. At least, not for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm too serious for my own good. Okay. I think she didn't like that answer. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear.
Encourage her. It's okay. She's got the cutest smile. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Turns for Jesse and Biggs and Wedge. <sighs> oh, there's green ones too. Oh no, they turn green. They're going back to the planet as there. life stream. It is time. <sighs> Whoa. What do you think of this now, Yuffie? Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? You know... What did you all think of the River of Light? I'm not sure we For learned anything reason, in our class. The ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. It was beautiful. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small I feat. Want you to know what and I'm it pleases me to know that the Thank river you. of light <laughs> possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. I think you need to sing the song from Tangled. Cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Can we just have a quiet moment? Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it always. What are all these people doing here? Oh, 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 oh. 
Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself, and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared? Yeah. Are you, though? I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. I'm ready. And off we go. Couldn't be more ready. What a lock, jeez. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. <sighs> Who's moaning back there? these people oh you want me to okay has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet nope, nope. they were watchers both of them, but they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? Oh. I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. Oh? But if not him. Do I get to pick? Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? <laughs> him? Really? <laughs> this guy? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. Okay, um... Well... Let me see something here. Did I take the cure off of him? I think I did, because I gave it to Aerith. Wow, I got some maxed out healing materials. I did not know that. How long have I been able to use Kirago or even Regen? <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go. Can I talk to the peeps? Make sure that you are well prepared. Alright, let's go! You gonna let's watch fight. my back? Yeah. yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This oh. is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. We got yeah. it. Just watch. Just look at this one. Sicker. As if I were Leave it to going me. to already. Get your claws off of me. Oh. All right. Watch and learn. You leave my dog alone. End of the line. All right, my time to shine. 
So his uh, combat dialogue is now with this new voice too. Or his actual voice. He just a little puppy dog. Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Approach glowing surfaces and use the stick to scamper along walls. Stop moving or press circle to drop, but remember to watch where you land. Comfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vet. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. We've got everything that we can get over there. Some of these walls don't seem to have a point to climbing them. Unless I'm missing something. Oh my lord! Oh, what is that? Oh, I didn't put a Seth on anybody. Oh, dang it. I knew I was forgetting something. Can't get me down. Gotcha. Now. What the? Ow, 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 ow. Whoa. Did you go? Yes, it's my turn. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you're weak to fire. Time for a serious ass. You got this! Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> hey, did you see me in action? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> getting grenades and stuff I have not used a single grenade in this game revival earrings oh you know what I can put a cess on right now <clears throat> I'll give him the uh, assess earrings And we'll be good to go. The door may open if you cut the rope. All right, well, Barrett, can you, can you do something with your gun there? Getting deeper in. That's 
very satisfying. Very satisfying. Whoa. Barrett's overcharge ability, it's so good. Damn, if that doesn't look convenient. Oh, I see a chest. No! Chamber of Folly, Chamber of Deception. Hey, where'd you run off to? Just doing my thing, you know. Getting some celestial bangles and the usual. Nothing on me either. What's this? What the hell is that? That is a key. Huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Press and hold L2 near an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to automatically drop a held item. Grab the Gi artifacts scattered around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. Okay. gonna fight be fighting some gi right now well if it isn't a gi arrow its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone
think we're oh here's one a bone But a mere bone. Why you gotta be so picky? What is this? A club? Nay, that is not the relic we seek. This is a I'm not sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. Actually, I'm not. Okay. Materia? Slurp. This has got to be what you want, right? Most would call that Materia. But it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Oh, healing materia. Three star. Oh my god. Pick it up. I can't pick it up. I have no idea what this is. A collar. Ah, yes, an armament of the Fae. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a second. Hold up. Ah, good thing we just, um, got proficient in Watcher's Respite. Now we have Watcher's Spirit. Deplete the Vengeance Gauge to increase allies ATB. Anything will work. Red will be a good boy no matter what. He'll just, he'll be a, he'll be the best boy ever. It's glowing. Ah, a remnant of our struggles, of our desires. Get rid of that thing! real quick weak to fire exploiting their elemental weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with healing spells will pressure them they spin their spears to deflect all ranged physical attacks hitting them with strong close range physical attacks while they are doing this will pressure them they will not remain dead so long as a gi sorcerer is present so this is the lancer I don't see a sorcerer at the moment. Um. You're up. Don't worry about it. I gotta get it. some heals going here. What the hell? First and foremost, go for it. All right, watch and learn. All right, now we're ready to fight. Ouch. Oh. 
Hey, my HP up, material leveled up. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. They weren't so tough. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Okay. What do I do now? We just moving forward? Um... Is that an all that reference? I think we've probably all seen that, right? Shh, this is a library. Nobody out there who just really does not like playing as Red or Barrett because <laughs> you're stuck with them for this section. But I think they did a really good job of making all the characters combat fun. And so I don't think too many people were, were complaining, but maybe some people were like, ah, I don't want to use these characters. What is this? Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? Oh. <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Nope. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. Try placing a statue on one of the altars. Okay, here's this statue. It's yellowish. Let's try putting it here. looking for a pen and paper so he can write his will. Let's see. This is where we came from. Um, I think. No statue up here. Well, you can just wait. Uh oh. This is kind of creepy. Hmm. 
Also, Barrett left my party for the moment, so I'm all by my lonesome. Hello. Don't mind if I take this, do you? Don't look down. Are you gonna come to life? Ugh! Are you weak to fire? Yeah, you are. Coming in hot. Well, what? Gotcha. But I think you get out right back there. Well, I want to forget my statue. This one is blue. Emerald. Sorry. These statues are a bit creepy looking. Okay, one more to go. Can't go that way. up here or oh the ruby statue i should have taken it with me from the beginning this was the one i needed okay really struggling to pick these things up here. All right, now we're doing it. I figured it out, Pod. Figured it out. Took a little bit longer than it was supposed to, but that's okay. Got no arms. Uh, our sadness sinks beneath stone. The history of the Vale is intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence. For it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil, he pounced from one throw to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on, if there was a watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of him? 
for now. You should focus on your own struggles with the key. Their malice grows more potent. Oh, Bugenhagen. Such a tease. Oh, this is a big area. It's definitely good. I'll be honest. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Manaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Look to the crevasse and the gates beyond. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. This is a whole thing! My goodness. Alright, well, let's try to get through it as quickly as we possibly can. I got this one. What are these things? Two faces. Now, <laughs> they become pressured when suggesting their opponent take a gamble. Hitting them with a powerful offensive ability at this time will spin the roulette, enhancing, enhancing or enfeebling their assailant, depending on which face they land. They're weak to ice. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm just gonna. It's gonna beat him up, I think. We are just going to beat him up. understand what was going on there. Yeah. So how are we supposed to open this thing? How indeed? Ideas, Nanaki? Um. any MP shoot. Okay, I definitely need to ether up here. Where to now? Okay, 
Okay, so I went into the gate. I fought them. Oh, there's... Okay, here we go. Uh, maybe we were done. Actually, I'm gonna save my MP. These guys are too weak to be using fire on them, I think. Lizard, what's up? that they made this section where you have to play as two specific characters only so big and long pull the chain then secure i didn't get to read it again oh right here Consumes all ATB to deliver a close range attack. This enemy is flying. So should I do it when I'm close range? Or will Barrett close the gap if I'm far? Boom. Well. Bring it home. Alright, my time is done. Gotcha! Sorry! <laughs> In riddles. Damn, that doesn't look nothing. This reminds me of those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. What's going on? What's with the red hue here? I 
I see a chest over there. I like that. Oh my lord, we almost took a went for a dive. Overloaded on my materials. There we go. How's that? What is this for? What's this for? Oh, I know what it's for. Put that there and then grab this from over here. The third gate. We're getting close to wherever we're going. A place where we're gonna cry. Sounds like yeah, pretty much. As with good and evil, sorrow too will service many forms. Forty-five years ago, a watcher fought his way here alone, and in his bravery took upon himself the burden of our hope. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, look at it. <laughs> well, it would have been nice if Red would sit on the bench like a human does, but we won't make him go through all that again. Boss time? I hope so. Let's go. Talk about an axe to grind. What the hell's this thing pissing us? talk. Guess it's my turn. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Here it comes. Leave it to me. Okay, no weakness. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. Red is half half M HP. Purple half MP. Green deplete ATB. Or yellow shrink battlefield. Staggering him will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. No! I need to fix my accessories, please. <laughs> All right, watch it learn. Ooh, gotta look. Okay, so we just need to inflict damage. Not liking this uh, siphon that he has going on. He's pressured. Oh, what do I want to do here? be easy at all. Leave it to me. Here goes. Still here. Going in. Jesus. Oh, no. Jesus. Stop it. Check out this shit right here. Oh my 
good lord. We are dying. We can do a partition our ATB gauges or let's do overfame. I want some damage right now. Well, I guess the other one, they all do damage. Nice going. Ready? Would be a good thing to do let's use maximum fury and then you can use uh go to vengeance mode use a crescent claw Halfway there. Let's keep going. Let's use um well, we gotta level up point blank. Might as well. Oh Barrett's hurting. Barrett is hurting. I just need to use prayer. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh my god, Barrett did not even use it. And we're dead. Wow! 
I am so upset. That was really stupid of me. Let's get Ramu out here. Now this is fun. I love Ramu. Look at that beard. Now that's a beard. Catastrophe. Marshal all your strength and channel it into a concentrated beam of energy. Increase the stagger. Sounds good to me. Don't worry about it. Yes, did you see that? You're mine. Charging at all. Leave it to me. Yeah, fuck you. Lost to that guy. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Oh shit. You love the design of that fight? Oh, man, I'm really mad that I lost. Really mad. Hi, Uncle Remus. Okay. Wall of Honor. Uh. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly. Wow. And offered Look up at his that. life in defense of our home. As you see. He still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... 
Naruto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot. Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the veil once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Lama Keith. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. Yeah, you did. Oh, Cloud, when did you get as long as I have, <laughs> We're all here. You start to believe you've seen it all, and no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. Mm hmm This whole... You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Well, that's mean. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. Vale. To me. Huh? My name is Guy Natak. Oh, brave and noble Seto. I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. 
produce more? That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh, <laughs> no, this one's free. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was going to be just Aerith and... Oh, man. You don't know why, but this moment hit you so hard as a kid. It was much more memorable than the dying moment for you. Um, same. I doubt that's a... Uh... I think a lot of people probably feel the same way. It's... It always gets me. Who are you? Please look after Nanaki for us. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. I thought that just visually, this whole place and as well as like the the camera angles, the music, that was really we will escort good stuff. Back home. Take care. Friends. That was good stuff right there. I think they did this part justice. Within that bee's flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. It was good. Look at this place. It looks so... Look at... Oh, let's take a closer look. Look at those huge weapons? Swords and things? Like, this was a battle. A fierce battle. Can you imagine? Him against how many gi warriors? 